This is the new 510 horsepower version of DAF's versatile CF85 model. And make no mistake, this is a truck DAF needs if it's to climb to a higher place on the heavy duty sales ladder. The truck's hooked to a new freighter T-liner trailer, gross weight's about 35 tonnes, and over the next few days I'll be running the CF over some hard country through northern Victoria. But there's more to this exercise than just a road test. A lot more. You see, DAF is owned by Packer, the same outfit that owns Kenworth. And let's face it, in our part of the world, Kenworth casts a very big shadow. But here's the thing. In the Packer world, DAF is a huge player. And I mean huge. In fact, in the big scheme of things, DAF is maybe Packard's greatest success story. The Dutch brand was on its knees when Packard took over in 1996, and since then, the turnaround has been nothing short of incredible. And last year, close to 47,000 DAFs were registered across Europe. I was driving through Germany and Hungary a few weeks back on holidays, and honestly, you'd have to have your head in a box not to notice the number of DAF trucks that were on the road in Europe. It wasn't just line haul stuff either. It's around town in little LFs doing deliveries in small villages and whatever. Given that level of success, you really have to wonder why DAF doesn't enjoy even a portion of that success here. When you take a close look at this truck, there are a lot of benefits just as part of the standard package. For starters, when you're on the road, the steering is tremendously good, the ride comfort's good. In fact, it does everything you'd expect of a modern European truck. So far, I'm averaging 47 litres per 100 k's, which to my mind's really good. And it's been run up and over some fairly hard country. Underneath, you've got the MX-13, and in the CF, for the first time, it comes at 510 horsepower. Sure, you can get 510 horsepower in the XF, the high roof line haul model, but to get 510 horsepower for urban applications and regional work, which is where this model is pointed, you'd have to suggest it's a really smart move by DEF, and it's long overdue. Another thing worth noting is that this cab is 2.44 metres wide. That's only a fraction shorter, or narrower, than the XF line haul model. If you look around, you don't get a bunk that's suited to line haul work, but you do get a bunk that if you're stuck overnight, you can still get a good night's sleep, you can still stretch out. Underneath, there's a slide out fridge, which is now standard, and that's a very good move in our country. The general layout is good, the retarder, the retarder's brilliant on this thing, and everything's easy to get to. This is a truck that has far more appeal than its reputation might suggest. And I'll tell you another thing about this truck, which may seem minor. The vision forward, it's as good as any. They're all good in that respect. But the mirrors are in an ideal position because a lot of the problem with European trucks today is that when you're looking out, the view to roundabouts and so on is blocked by big mirror housings. These are set back a little bit and you get a better line of view through that front quarter. It may sound a minor thing, but when you're um, running up onto a roundabout and there's a lot of traffic coming at you. It's worth keeping that in mind. When DAF was bought by Packer, a lot of people really wondered why. Why would a hugely successful American company like Packer buy a struggling European brand that was in dire straits? But at the end of the day, Packard turned the tables and it turned it into a very, very successful truck to the point where it's number one in the UK, which is a hugely competitive market. It's number one in a number of smaller European countries and across the board, it's regularly number two or three in the total European market. And most importantly of all, they got a company that built engines and that's what Packard needed and that's what they're making so much mileage out of now with the MX as both an 11 litre and a 13 litre. So, as a success story for Packard, DAF is probably the greatest story of all. <laughs>